So we've done a few videos now on different tile sizes or grid sizes and such. And I think one of our last videos we discussed setting up your tower base and the tower layers, just the basics, the basic layout. So in this one, I'm going to discuss bringing in your different layers that you've exported as overlays and how to decorate those overlays. We now have the basic tower layouts. So I brought in the first one, and I brought it in as an image. So now I'm going to go ahead and right click, and here's what happens when you have multiple images. So we're going to bring each of those images in, and we're going to right click on it, layer properties, go to it. So we have the tower base, so here's my folder where I have my tower layers. I've got first floor, the roof, second floor. So let's bring in the first floor. There's our first floor, and let's name it. Right click again, add image layer. On that layer, that column's already open, so we'll just bring in the second floor. There's our second floor. Let's name it. And one more time, we've got a couple more to bring in. Image layer. And there's the closed. I'm just going to name that closed trap doors and one more image. And the open. Now I can close this. And let's bring this in to 33%. So now, if I were to turn these off as you go down, so you can alternate between these two, you see on our second floor, the ladders are going up, so they still can see that. Going down to the first floor, our staircases remain, so they can still see that. And the base floor going to the outside with our little, we made little staircases going out to the pathways. So now people can see where they're at. So from this point on, you could actually go ahead and grab tile sets to decorate. And let's see, let's see if we got four videos. And Nope, I didn't do that right. There we go, top down. Do I have anything to decorate with in here? Not really, so... I know where we can go. Sorry, it just takes me a sec. There, we'll just pull up the very, the oldest set I have. So we're turned down, we're on valley and floor bases, tower bases. So right at this, if I click on this layer, then I right click. We're going to go ahead and add an object layer. And the core, bottom floor. And up here we've got our select and our place. So let's hit the placement tool and we'll do a little table. And maybe there's a little chest some by. There we go. Turn that. Click on that and turn it. There's a chest right down below. The thing is, is if you have the ratios with any of the sets as you're decorating, if you've got some tile sheets, it makes it much easier because now I can go in and I can place all of these things. If I want to add something maybe on top of the chest, maybe there's a ledger or something. Let me just put that little book right up there. And we'll zoom in so you can see what we're doing. And maybe there's a keg nearby. And the keg is huge, and they don't give these guys that much to drink, so we're just going to shrink that sucker down. And there we go. Now if I wanted to add like something like a bearskin rug, I could, in object mode, you'd have to do it like this. OK, 
placing each object next to each other if you had multiple objects. Go back into select if I want to resize everything. And now I can size everything as a group and place it down. Easy peasy. If I go up here, now we've got the second floor. We'll turn on the second floor. The nice thing is I can actually take these and we can highlight them all. Right click and we're going to group the layers. We're going to call this the bottom floor. So when we go to save out, we can turn off the bottom floor. Bottom floor had our map on it as well. You can either separate it out, it's up to you. So, first floor, let's do it again. Object layer. And maybe there's some cases up here. Rotate. And we'll resize it. And I'm going to duplicate that. Click. Rotate. We're going to duplicate it one more time. We'll let it layer. No. So we're going to move one of these off. Move that guy off. Put him back. I'm going to make another object layer. And if you've seen me doing the old world style, you'll know that then we go to this last object. We're going to right click and we're going to move it up to the uppermost layer that we have. And now it'll be stacked on top. And maybe there's a bag of flour down here. We'll move it down here with these guys. And click to rotate. Not everything has to be legible. And then you've got your next layer. So now we can go up here, hit shift to select everything, right click, and group. Now we'll turn on this tower's second floor. And let's see, maybe there's a bed up here. Yeah, we'll do a bed. We'll do one right here. Whoops. I forgot to add a floor. Ho oh, ho, it happens. All right. There we go, on the second floor. So now I can add a bed and a bed. And they don't give these guys the best. I mean, come on, you're in a tower, guard tower. And maybe up here there's a torch. And this is one of my first sets from nearly, gosh, seven years ago. Back when Roll20 was still getting started. And now that we've got that, again, we're going to go over here, highlight everything, and we're going to group the layers. For some reason it didn't do it. There we go. And group the layers. Group three. And let's turn on the, the rooftop. And do we have anything on top of the roof? Mm, I don't know. Maybe they actually do have a little bitty hearth up here. So up here, we're going to go ahead and one more time, add an object layer. Maybe they have a, a hearth up here. I'm going to turn that off, and now we got to go all the way down because I want to see. They would have a. They, I think they would have. On the bottom floor, they would definitely have some sort of hearth. So, let's move some things around. I'm going to move that. I'm going to move that. I'm going to drag and hold, and we're going to shrink that down to make that. Smaller. Put that over here. And we're going to give them a hearth. It's a little bit cozy. There we go. So now, if we go back and we were to export as image, now you've had your layers fully decorated. You save them out as your PNGs, and when you bring them in as an overlay into your virtual tabletop, whether it's Roll20, Fantasy Grounds, 
uh, Astral Tabletop, any of the above. Um, there's so many out there now. Uh, now you've got it complete, and but it's set up to your liking, to what you want. Thank you very much for watching, and we look forward to the next video.